All right, YouTube, how's it going? This is Dave. So I got a little bit of a weird one today. This is, a, you would think, an oil change. Uh, no big deal. Well, uh, I'm doing the oil change myself on my Duramax, um, mainly because I haven't been able to actually get in to do a change, and I'm at like 5% on the oil life. But uh, if you haven't been living under a rock lately and you actually like doing your oil changes yourself, you'll notice that it's almost impossible to find a PF66 AC Delco filter in any auto parts store or at the counter currently uh, they're also rationing them out at this point so I was not able to find one uh, I was also unable to get a oil change because they don't have the oil um, they also are not 100% sure when it's coming in which is puzzling but I drive this car constantly or this truck constantly and I need to do an oil change so uh, you see from the title, I might be doing some uh, somewhat unsavory things, but I did a little research and uh, I'm going about it this way because I have no choice. So we'll see. Either this thing's going to have problems or we'll be just fine and you've you, uh, learned something new. So, All right, so I'm holding this um, receipt from my last oil change. You can see it was on uh, June uh, 26th uh, of this year and it's uh, now October 1st or 2nd in or around there. Um, you can see if I'm holding it back so I not to incriminate the dealership, but if you look here You can see Diesel oil and filter change 1540 not that's obviously not the oil That is obviously not the price that we normally pay for the oil. I got a tire rotation also and we got some um, You know, there's a warranty recall and all that crap But it ended up being the rotation cost me $23 or I'm sorry $30 and the oil change cost me about 80 or 90 dollars for them to do it so you can see kind of see like it ended up being 130 but nowhere in here does it actually say the dexos d oil so my guess is that i didn't get it put in you can even see here it only says six quarts <laughs> so i'm going to tech check the dipstick and see what uh what exactly I'm gonna be dealing with here. So I'm gonna get this out of the way and I got a crazy dog behind me barking at me, but uh, we're gonna check the dipstick. I wanna get you set up here. So this is super straightforward. It's hanging out right here. So I'm just gonna check it. I haven't had a single problem. That's a long ass dipstick. All right, and she's looking mighty dirty. So, so you can see, and I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to hold this. I'll wipe it down, I wiped it down. We're gonna go back in and I wanna make sure there's no fuzz or anything on this guy. All right, so we're gonna go back in. This baby's been sitting overnight. So hopefully everything that's gonna drain down has drained down. Bring her back out and let's see what we see. <laughs> okay, about halfway up on the dipstick, but man, is she gnarly. So I don't know if this is that uh, low sulfur stuff or not, but for me, I got no choice. So I went a little bit different route. So let me get this back in and I'll show you what I did. Had to do some uh, different things here. So like I said, the PF66 is not available. All right, you cannot find it. So starting with the uh, oil filter, I ended up finding a cross reference list online. Uh, there was a correspondence from GM on one of the Duramax sites and I'll hold it up right, you know, I'll put it up on the screen right now. And, um, as part of that list, this was one of the filters that was approved. So you can see PL11424. It's a pure later filter. Um, and I ordered a whole bunch of the PF66s online. Uh, I should be getting them Wednesday at, at the soonest. Uh, so I ordered a bunch of them just so I can have them because, I mean, it's just getting ridiculous. But I got this filter. And then the big question, oil. So like I said, you cannot find Dextos D anywhere but online or at the dealership and uh i decided i said to hell with it if they messed up on my own i've seen other circumstances of that online i'm gonna go with the dextos 2 so this is the oil that is approved for use in the 2.8 liter duramax with the dpf filter and i know some of the foes is for euro cars who have the diesel and if you read through the back, I'm not going to read the back of it. it you know, it has the ACEA3, uh, uh, C3, and then it also has the GM Dexos 2.0. I'm sorry, Dextos 2. And then it has the codes for like the, di the diesel and the gas powered engines. So this oil, the 530, I know they say it's got to be 020. 
However, the zero is really for like the really super cold environment, which this really will never get to. And I will have an oil change probably before that just because of how much I'm driving. But um, I am at 5% and I can't, and there's, like I said, there's no um, plan for me to get into the dealership to get that oil, nor am I gonna pay a lot. Now I did pay a decent amount for this. Like I paid probably with the filter and the oil, Minus the tool that I bought for the filter, I'm probably somewhere in the upper 80s. I think it was $97 with tax and everything. So it's not it's not cheap. It's like $87 for this. So you can, you can get a better, cheaper kit with the right oil from Amazon, but I couldn't get it until two weeks from now. And that's just not going to fly. Um, so here we're at. I'm going to give this a try. This is, like I said, the Dextos 2 is for DPF systems and is what is used in the 2.8 liter diesel. So... Uh, four cylinder so i'm using it in this one the three liter diesel has a dpf system some folks have you know talked about the there is a mobile one oil that is available uh and it's um i forget exactly it's a e, e something uh, x2 and my brain is just uh fried right now so um it's for like the exhaust protection ep something or, or i forget exactly what it is the two different ones there's the one that's readily available it's a little older um that is for DPF systems and then there's the X2 which is supposed to be for the three liter diesel You can't find that anywhere either. It actually as a matter of fact is even harder to find as far as getting it delivered in a timely fashion So I'm using this You may see me posting up a video about uh, DPF problems here in the next few weeks But uh, the hell with it. I need it. I use this thing constantly and hopefully This will be a victory or an embarrassing defeat, but you'll be able to say it here and um let's get the oil changed on i'm not going to bore you too much with it because it's very very straightforward actually that's a very nice thing but uh, let's get under the car and get it going all right folks so i got a little super view action going on here uh it's a little hard to kind of line everything up for you but hopefully this will be able to show you what's what's doing here so oil filters right here and then the drain plug is right here i mean i've barely got the truck up off the ground just enough for me to get underneath it here um, but it is very very straightforward. So I'm um, gonna get I got a um, Wrench here that I'm gonna use. It's just a simple uh, it says 75.6 millimeter 14 flute So I want to make sure this guy's under it We're gonna get underneath it and give it a, whoa. Okay. That was super easy. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna get that like that and then so that was definitely just a hand tighter action there So we're gonna get this going real quick and I should start. Yep. All right, running down my arm. That's the way daddy likes it. That's disgusting. All right, wow. All right, so we're just gonna bring her in and let her drain sit right there. Make sure that's up, okay, good. All right, now what I'm gonna do is just bring this over a little. I'm gonna let this drain real good and I'll wipe everything down real nice when it's all said and done, but this oil is black. Now. All right, clean that off real nice. Now I'm gonna get in there and clean stuff once I uh, have a chance to wipe the pan down and everything because it's probably running all down the side of it. But now, if I'm a bet, woo, baby, you man, if there was smell of vision, you'd actually be able to smell that. But <laughs> let's see, I should have. Now, if I'm a betting man, which I'm not, because I stink at it, but I should have a 15 millimeter chilling out somewhere around here. <sighs> Whatever, with an amp. Oh, sweet. And I'm guessing just by the look of that, and the fact is Canadian. Up, oh, yep. 15 millimeter. Sweet. All right, so let's get this on there. Wrench is slipping like a mofo. Let's see if I can get a good angle. All right. I'm gonna have to do have to do the old old wrench trick here. So. So I'm gonna probably put this B on with an impact gun. So I'm gonna get it like this. Get it like, I gotta find a good angle. Is that 15? Yeah, there we go. All right. Noink, there we go. All right, now should be able to just get it out of the way with my hand. There we go. And this should be, this should come rocketing out. wink nice fat o-ring on there all right i'm gonna wipe this down real good after it finishes draining but for right now all right 
also, you know, just to, to note, same thing, I put the uh, PL11424 filter back in. Standard oil filter procedure, fill it up with whatever it'll take, then take a little bit of the new oil, rub it around the O-ring, wiped this surface down, tightened her back up. I'm gonna run in, grab a quick uh, lunch while this thing finishes up dripping, but I think we're, we're pretty much at the end of the drip is procedure here. So I don't think we're gonna get much more than what we got, but it's still draining a little, so I'll, I'll, I'll let her go. And uh, we'll get her buttoned up and pour the oil in. Okay, so we're back under the hood and uh, we're gonna start filling her back up. Um, going to slowly top this guy off. One. I just leave this guy in here and let her go. You're gonna probably hear some shooting in the background. My kids are firing their guns at each other, their pop guns at each other. So no one was harmed in the making of this video. All right, so that's all filled up. Let me get this underneath here so I can kind of get it out of the way. And uh, we'll uh, get this cap back in. So that's that. Um, back together, oil's in, seven quarts in, and uh, let's fire it up and take it for a ride and see if uh, see if we notice anything different. All right, so my apologies if this is a little shaky. I don't have my mount in the car, but I wanted to get in and go because I'm supposed to be uh, taking the kids to uh, see a movie in a little bit, but I wanted to get this done. I reset it, super simple. You just uh, get it onto the oil life thing and you hit the uh, push and hold, the uh, check button here. And uh, that's all you really need to do, but uh, I'm out running with it at this point. I don't hear anything different at this point so far. Um, as far as like oil pressure, it is a smidgen higher only because it's a little bit heavier weight oil. But um, beyond that, I haven't seen any real issues. Um, I haven't seen any issues actually, <laughs> but uh, that's it's a uh, 5W30, which is normally used in the 2.8 liter uh, four cylinder. Um, and it's Dextos 2 approved, like I said. Um, it's right there on the bottle, like you saw so far. No issue. Actually, the, to be honest with you, oil pressure really isn't all that higher. <laughs> it almost is identical to what I had before. So, um, have it, no, no rattling or anything like that. And you would expect that, because it should be superior to, as far as the weight of the oil, should be superior. Um, there's no additional pressure, so I wouldn't really be worrying about it, like a rear main seal issue or anything like that because of pressure uh, based on what I'm seeing what the um, the um, which call it the dealership did to me um, whether or not that was really 15 weight it probably wasn't I'm hoping it wasn't it was a computer issue but I you know I've noticed that the the truck was running better as far as any like rattling or anything like that so and I apologize if I'm getting like weird angles here because I'm holding it trying to drive and not kill anybody all right, so I just did some high speed uh, driving on a, one of the smaller uh, highways here around my house. And uh, again, sorry about that. Sorry if I'm rocking all over the place. And um, I also reset my trip odometer because I'm, I'm interested to see if I get any uh, different average uh, at this point. But I will tell you that the truck is definitely quieter with the heavier oil. It's not a lot. It's 5.5 five W30 versus 0 W20. Um, but and it, it's probably just a placebo effect, so I'm not gonna get think too far into that. But I'm actually, um, so far, so good. You can definitely, when you're under acceleration, see a little bit more pressure, um, but it's like, I'll say 35 versus like 32 or something like that. So I will absolutely monitor that, but I think it's just the difference between fresh oil and the jacked up oil that I had in there. But. It's so far, it sounds exactly the same. I haven't heard anything that would uh, lead me to believe that there's an issue. Um, but, uh, 
yeah, we'll keep you posted, actually, especially for tomorrow, because I'm going to be taking my normal drive down to uh, uh, Baltimore uh, for, for where I work. So I'll give you an update uh, tomorrow. Just It'll be a, just a quick pop-in, let you guys know what I'm saying, and I'll, I'll pop in every so often. Who knows? Maybe I'm on to something here. I'll tell you, the oil isn't any cheaper, but maybe we can find a cheaper substitute. Uh, but at this point, at least there's another source, at least from my opinion. Now, I'm not recommending this to do this to anyone else. I'm just telling you what I'm finding. <laughs> like, so, so far, so good. And um, we'll catch up with you probably in the next day or two so thanks for watching keep that shiny side up and uh hopefully uh next week we'll take the ss to the track and see if we can get some times so hopefully on tuesday i'm not sure if the weather's going to cooperate but we'll see i got the tires done and they're sitting in the garage ready to go so i'm gonna give them a good cleaning and get them on the ss and we'll figure out when we can actually take to the track thanks for watching go ahead keep that shiny side up whoa <laughs> not too far